In today's video, I'll be showing you a few things that you can do to resolve connection issues with Bat for Blood on your Windows 10 PC or laptop. If your game is lagging, or perhaps you're getting disconnected, or you can't even log into the game, then by doing the things that I show you in this video, they will hopefully resolve the issues you're having. But before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this. We do lots of videos showing you how to resolve problems and issues with games in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. So to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to select settings. And you now need to click on to update and security. And you then need to click the check for updates button if you have one. As you can see, I do have some updates available. So if you have some updates available, go ahead and install those updates and then see if that fixed the issue. If that didn't, then the next thing you need to do if you're using a wireless connection is to use a cable connection. A cable connection is a lot more stable and it will also help improve the connection speed, which will reduce lag and connection issues within Bat for Blood. Also, if you are using Wi-Fi boosters or those wall adapters, which you can plug the cable into your computer, which then connects to the router, don't use them as well, because they can also cause a lot of unstable connection problems when it comes to playing games and just using Windows and the internet in general. So after you've done all that, and if that applied to you, go ahead and launch Back for Blood and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you want to do is disable your VPN. If you're using a VPN, don't use the VPN. Try disabling it and then launching back for blood, as a VPN can also cause connection issues and could also stop you being able to sign into back for blood. So once you've done all that, and if you're still unable to sign into back for blood or just generally play back for blood because the lagging and disconnection problems are so bad, the next thing you want to do is just make sure your security software is not causing the problems. So go ahead and turn off your security software temporary. Just be warned that when your security software is off, you are at risk of security threats, so just be careful. It's just a quick way of ensuring that it's not your security software that's causing the issue. As if you're getting disconnected or you can't just sign into Back for Blood, then that's normally down to your security software and your firewall. So if you're using Windows Defender Firewall, then open up the Start menu and type in Defender. And you now need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. And you now need to select Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And you then need to press B to go down to Back for Blood. You need to ensure Back for Blood has ticks under private. As you can see, mine do. If yours doesn't, you then need to click on Change Settings and you just need to tick Back for Blood. If you don't have an option for Back for Blood, then you need to press Allow another app and you then need to search for your Back for Blood game and then add it to the firewall list. Once you've done that, you can then tick the box and then press OK. So once you have allowed Back for Blood through your firewall and if you had to allow it through your security software, whatever you're using, then launch Back for Blood and then I'm pretty sure that was what's causing you the network issues. If it wasn't though and you're using the Xbox app or the Microsoft Store to launch the game, make sure you are signed into the account that you purchased the game on. Because if you're not, you're not going to be able to launch the game and it's going to give you off line problems. It's basically just going to say you are offline, sign in and you won't be able to sign in. If that's not the case, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you now need to select device manager. You now need to expand network adapters and you then need to right click on your network adapter and you then need to go to properties. You now need to go across to driver and you now need to select update driver. You now need to search automatically for drivers and just ensure you do have the latest driver installed. If you didn't and it's installing a new driver, then install that driver and then launch the game and see if it resolved the issue. You can always go to the manufacturer website of your network adapter and then get the latest drivers from there as well. So if that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing we want to do is simply right click on the network icon in the bottom right hand corner and you now need to click on Open Network and Internet Settings. You now need to click on Network Troubleshooter. Once the troubleshooter has run, if it did find any issues, go through the steps and then try and troubleshoot those problems. 
If it didn't, like you can see on mine, couldn't identify any problems, then that's all good. We can move on to the next thing. And that's to open up the start menu again. And you now need to type in CMD and you need to run command prompt as an administrator. You now need to type in ipconfig space forward slash and then flush and then DNS and press enter. Once that's finished, restart your computer and then see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't resolve the lagging issues, connection issues and stuff like that that you're having with the game, the next thing we want to do is go into game. Once you're in game, you then need to press tab and you now need to select preferences and you need to toggle crossplay to off. And this should hopefully resolve a lot of lagging issues and stuff like that. If it didn't make a difference, then you can always turn crossplay back on. It's always worth checking the network status as well. Below crossplay, you can select few network status and it will tell you if you're online. If it doesn't say online, then you know that's what your problem is. So I hope that did fix the issues you were having with Back for Blood. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button below and like this video if it did help you out. I will see you all in the next video.